Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to install and configure Arcto's graphical user interface. With this interface you can simulate and control Arcto's robotic arm V2 with closed loop drivers. It's run on Ubuntu 18.4, Rose Melodic, Movie It and few other libraries. You can also send code from RoboDK, convert code to CAN messages and send direct CAN messages to the robot. All commands can be found in the description. This tutorial will guide you from fresh install of Ubuntu, so no missed steps if you are doing it from the scratch. First we will give all permissions to the current user. Here we will install Rose Melodic. By the way, Rose Melodic is pretty outdated, but it is also working with V1 Arctos which runs on Arduino Mega. So for the sake of universality I choosed it. But this will soon have Rose 2 update.
Here we will install Movieit. Now clone the Arctos ROS repository from GitHub, and let's try to build it. but first we have to put everything inside source folder. Then we can do cat and build. Here we will source our workspace setup bash. After that just hit Ctrl S to save, and Ctrl X to exit. This PyCommon library is not needed. First let's connect our Canable adapter. We have to make scripts executable, but not in this folder. In the other I'll show next. If you have other port than slash dev slash ttyacm0 edit files send.py and roast.py to address your specific port. Here open ui.py script and edit your username. If you have different port you should edit the UI script. Those errors will not show to you, because I updated the GitHub repo with missing images. So skip the steps where I'm configuring the icons. Before running run.sh file we should initialize and update rostep. 
so you won't need to manually run the interface and transform scripts. Congratulations on successfully configuring the user interface. You can now interact with your robot seamlessly. The joint jog sliders allow precise control of each of the six joints, while the tool jog function enables manipulation of the robot's tip and Cartesian coordinates using either sliders or arrows. Additionally, you have the capability to operate the gripper, send direct GAN messages, and move the robot using the triad in our viz, as you normally would. Furthermore, you can integrate G-Code from RoboDK, providing a comprehensive and versatile control environment. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new today. For more info, visit our website arctosrobotics.com.